Now I'm going to give you a basic breakdown of the back tuck, though there are many other breakdowns on YouTube, so I'm not going to go into that much detail. Now first and foremost, you're going to want to look straight ahead and have your arms swung back, with your knees bent about 90 degrees. It is crucial that you swing your arms above your head and extend your legs fully. Take off on the tip of your toes for maximum height. Once you are at the full peak of your jump, you're going to grab your knees tightly and hold on. Lastly, spot the ground and release your legs. If you did everything correctly, hopefully you have just completed your first backflip. So I actually had a lot of trouble going directly over my head, and I hope that if you have any trouble with this, the following progression will help you the same way it helped me. When just starting out, repeat the following drills over and over until they are natural. Okay, first you're going to sit in a curled up squatting position and roll back over your spine repeatedly until you become comfortable doing this. This drill I also found really helpful. You're going to lay down and mimic the action of doing a backflip, being sure to throw up your arms and then grab your legs. And for this last drill, you're going to make sure that you have a mattress and a ton of soft padding because you're going to be landing flat on your back from jumping. Be sure to mimic correct technique so that it becomes muscle memory. The most common progression for learning a backflip is to sit so that you're about to do the backflip and instead turn off to the side so it turns into a backwards car wheel. You're going to want to progressively make it so that you go further and further over your head and less to the side. You want to end up with a bad back handspring. So I had a lot of trouble going directly over my head, like you see in this video, so I found a better progression that made it a lot easier for me. So once you have that and you can go kind of over your head but still to the side, you're going to want to tuck in your feet without your arms a little bit, as you can see in this video and you will go further over your head and also rotate a lot faster. Now you're going to flip and drive your legs up to your chest but still not grab them with your arms. Try to avoid touching the floor. Now combine all the steps, use your hands to grab your legs and you'll have a backflip. Compare the previous shot in which I did not swing my arms over my head to this one in which I do swing my arms kind of over my head and you'll see a drastic difference. Now take away padding at a comfortable pace until you can do it on the floor or the ground. I hope this helped you land your first backflip.